Friday. Welcome to another episode of The Deck Behind Your Host TV Chips. And today we have a super special episode because I have super sexy cold voice. Hello, ladies. How you doing? Would you like to come over and vapor robe? Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, I'm getting over the effects of a cold, uh, which can only mean one thing. The seasons, my friends, they are changing. And if we were in summer, that means that just around the bend comes fall. And with fall comes what? Yes, that's right. With fall comes... Pumpkin spice! Pumpkin spice. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's coming. It's gonna be everywhere. Pumpkin spice. Now, pumpkin spice is a fantastic flavor uh, that is uh, prepared very well within some coffees. Uh, pumpkin spice lattes are the jam. Uh, and as well as some pastries, uh, a pumpkin spice donut. Uh, if you will, would be quite fantastic. Pumpkin spice bread is uh, legitimately amazing. Uh, so pumpkin spice is fantastic, but we as Americans, we as human beings, when we like something, what do we do? We beat the ever living hell out of it. So pumpkin spice is officially everywhere. And it's not even, it's barely even September. We're only a few days into September and already Pumpkin Spice has invaded the store shelves, which leads me to today's testing of Pumpkin Spice Oreos. Now, you would think that I would have learned my lesson a couple weeks ago with those Swedish Fish Oreos that were, um, awful. Uh, but, uh, I have not, I particularly think these could be okay. Pumpkin Spice is a good flavor if it's done right. Um, and in pastries and cookies and things like that, pumpkin spice is perfectly suited. Uh, so, uh, I searched around for some other pumpkin spice stuff. I didn't really find anything that I could do easily. There was some, like, pumpkin spice chocolate, white chocolate macadamia cookies, um, that I was just like, no, no, not today. No, not today. Uh, but, uh, these look fantastic, and so I got some, and so let's... Test them out. Let's see if the Oreo pumpkin spice can restore my faith in humanity after Oreos foray into Swedish fish. Now the benefit here is that this is a cookie. This is a, a white cookie. Uh, this is a vanilla cookie. Uh, the Oreo Swedish fish had the chocolate cookie and that was just, it's just such a bad decision. Oh, I cannot reiterate how bad of a decision that was. So, uh, but here we have the nice little uh, vanilla cookie. I think that's a vanilla cookie. I know some of them have a cinnamon cookie. Uh, it does not say, uh, really, so I'm guessing that is a vanilla cookie. Also, lemon Oreos are back, and those are amazing. Um, so you should go out and get some of those. But these are a limited edition uh, pumpkin spice Oreos, so let's try them out. All right. Uh, for some reason, with these new limited edition uh, Oreos, uh, they're not going with the, the peel back. Uh, uh, oh, packaging for some reason. I'm not sure why. They've gone back to the old-fashioned uh, tearaway, which is fine, but um, I don't know. You get used to something and then it's gone and then you're like, what the F? So, <laughs> they smell great and they look like not great. Okay, so that's a very orange color, um, and this is kind of like a dark pumpkin-y color, which I'm probably okay with, but uh, they look different, and that was kind of shocking at first. So, uh, let's see. Ooh, they smell amazing. If you like pumpkin spice, you're gonna be like, what, what? This is amazing. Um, so, we've got the cookie. The, um, the coloring of the uh, frosting has dyed the inside of the cookie. So, you've got the regular color of the cookie, and then you've got what's come in contact with the frosting. That's not a great sign. Um, so let's see, let's see how this tastes. Oh, that's nice. It's, uh, that's good. That is, that is good. It's real, it's real pumpkin spicy, but it's still really mellow. It's got that sweetness. It's a little too sweet um, from what I usually like from pumpkin spice stuff, but uh, it's not too bad. Let's 
Try the cookie. I wonder if these are like overbaked because it's a much crunchier cookie than I'm used to. Um, so it's actually kind of a little dry, but it's good. This is good. This is, um, yeah, this is real good. If you like pumpkin spice stuff, like you need to be all over this because these are pretty damn amazing. Um, I feel like, I don't know if the cookie's overdone on purpose, but it feels like these cookies are overdone because they're really dark. I don't know if you can see that. I'm like, a lot of these cookies are really dark. Uh, I don't know why that is. It's like half of them are dark and half of them are not. Like, this one's fine, and then this side is dark. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's on purpose. The packaging didn't say anything that they were different. I wonder if they taste different. Let's try the lighter side. No. No. I don't know. That's very weird. It's very different. Um, they're very, like I said, almost overcooked. I don't know if that's on purpose or what, but it looks like one half, one half is fine and then the other half looks completely overcooked. I don't get it. And they all appear to be like that. So, uh, the packaging doesn't really say anything about it, but whatever. All right. So these were really good. Let's try the ultimate test of an Oreo, the dunk. Now, as we've gone over many, many times before, I like to dunk the cookie until just before I feel like it's about to fall apart and then take it out and shove it in my mouth. Um, I feel like this is a the only really way to eat an Oreo cookie properly. Uh, and uh, sometimes it's a dangerous game to play because sometimes you lose the cookie in the milk. But that's okay, because guess what? When you drink the milk, it's there for you afterwards. It's like a nice little surprise. It's like a, it's like a little treat. Like, uh, you know, like, like when you would eat those little ice creams with the gumball at the bottom. It's like a special little treat. Okay, I feel it falling apart a little bit. All right, that's where I like it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so good. It is so freaking good. If you um, if you enjoy the pumpkin spice, I'm telling you, that is good. That is that is everything right in the world right there in a cookie form. So I highly recommend you go out and get these. Um, they're quite fantastic. Uh, and if you see the lemon ones, get the lemon ones, because the lemon ones are also amazing. Um, I'm a big fan of the lemon ones. So, um, pumpkin spice Oreos. Uh, they're fantastic. Uh, get them while you can. They're a limited edition. Um, and, um, and yeah, just, you know, be careful. Don't go overboard with the pumpkin spice. You know what I mean? You don't want to be, you don't want to be one of those people. No, because next thing you know, you're wearing, like, you're wearing Ugg boots, and um, you're talking about going to Vermont for the weekend, and um, you know you're talking about you know uh, uh, the color of foliage, and you're pronouncing it properly, and you know. So uh, just be careful. Just be careful. You don't want to turn into a Becky. Um, you know, make sure you're, uh, you're, you're, you're you you proceed cautiously with the pumpkin spice Oreos. But I'm not going to blame you if you eat a whole tray of these because these are well worth an entire tray of Oreos. So. Um, I'm even dunking another one. So that's it. The pumpkin spice Oreos are fantastic. Uh, hopefully they will help me get over this cold. If not, uh, I will enjoy myself while I get there. And, um, and yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much about it. And they've saved themselves. Thank you, Oreo, for redeeming yourselves after the, um, you know, the awfulness that was, uh, those Oreo, uh, uh, Swedish fish. Because, uh, those things were just, oh. Oh, those things were awful. So, all right. Thanks you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you did not like this video, just go somewhere else and don't watch any more of my videos. Uh, but actually, no. You should subscribe to my channel because if you don't like my videos, maybe you know you help me get better. 
So if you liked the video, uh, click a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, click thumbs up and tell me why. Uh, and click subscribe if you haven't. If, if it says right there, if it says subscribe, we cool G. If it says subscribe but with no D, then, you know, hit, hit that little button. Give me a subscribe. Let me know. Uh, you know, watch some of my other videos and stuff. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook at TV Chips. And uh, you can find me here on YouTube at TV Chips with an extra S. That's right. I have my own custom URL. What, what? So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Because of her gray, because of her greatest spice of all is in a pumpkin. I found a reason to live. It's that pumpkin spice from Oreo. Pumpkin spice from Oreo. Pumpkin spice, pump, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, TV Chips, and today we have a super special episode because I have super sexy cold voice. Hello, ladies. How you doing? Would you like to come over and vapor robe? Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, I'm getting over the effects of a cold, uh, which can only mean one thing. The seasons, my friends, they are changing. And if we were in summer, that means that just around the bend comes fall. And with fall, come it. So pumpkin spice is officially everywhere. And it's not even, it's barely even September. We're only a few days into September and already pumpkin spice has invaded the store shelves. Which leads me to today's testing of pumpkin spice Oreos. Now, you would think that I would have learned my lesson a couple weeks ago with those Swedish fish Oreos that were, um, awful. Uh, but, uh, I have not, I particularly think these could be okay. Pumpkin spice is a good flavor if it's done right. Um, and in pastries and cookies and things like that, pumpkin spice is perfectly suited. Uh, so, uh, I searched around for some other pumpkin spice stuff. I didn't really find anything that I could do easily. There was some, like, pumpkin spice chocolate, white chocolate macadamia cookies, um, that I was just like, no, no, not today. No, not today. Uh, but, uh, these look fantastic, and so I got some, and so let's test them out. Let's see if the Oreo pumpkin spice can restore my faith in humanity after Oreos foray into Swedish fish. Now the benefit here is that this is a cookie. This is a, a white cookie. Uh, this is a vanilla cookie. Uh, the Oreo Swedish fish had the chocolate cookie and that was just, it's just such a bad decision. Oh, I cannot reiterate how bad of a decision that was. So, uh, but here we have the nice little uh, vanilla cookie. I think that's a vanilla cookie. I know some of them have a cinnamon cookie. Uh, it does not say, uh, really, so I'm guessing that is a vanilla cookie. Also, lemon Oreos are back, and those are amazing. Um, so you should go out and get some of those. But these are a limited edition uh, pumpkin spice Oreo, so that comes what? Yes, that's right. With fall comes pumpkin spice. Pumpkin Spice. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's coming. It's gonna be everywhere. Pumpkin spice. Now, pumpkin spice is a fantastic flavor uh, that is uh, prepared very well within some coffees. Uh, pumpkin spice lattes are the jam. Uh, and as well as some pastries, uh, a pumpkin spice donut 
uh, if you will, would be quite fantastic. Pumpkin spice bread is uh, legitimately amazing. Uh, so pumpkin spice is fantastic, but we as Americans, we as human beings, when we like something, what do we do? We beat the ever living hell out. Try it out. All right. Uh, for some reason, with these new limited edition uh, Oreos, uh, they're not going with the, the peel back uh, uh, oh, packaging for some reason. I'm not sure why. They've gone back to the old fashioned uh, tearaway, which is fine, but um, I don't know. You get used to something and then it's gone, and then you're like, what the F? So, <laughs> they smell great and they look like. Not great. Okay, so that's a very orange color, um, and this is kind of like a dark, pumpkin-y color, which I'm probably okay with, but uh, they look different, and that was kind of shocking at first. So, uh, let's see. Ooh, they smell amazing. If you like pumpkin spice, you're gonna be like, what, what? This is amazing. Um, so, 